So guys, today I'll be sharing with you dupes for some of my most favorite niche perfumes. So you make sure to be watching this video to find out all the details about these affordable alternatives to popular niche fragrances. But also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and please give this video a huge thumbs up because it's such a great support for me. And once you're done with that, we can get started. So hello and welcome everyone to today's video in which I'm so excited to be sharing with you affordable alternatives to some of the most popular niche perfumes that happen to be my favorites and I actually came across this brand as I was searching for perfume oils because I'm obsessed with them. It's such a different way to experience a fragrance when you apply perfume oil than just spray perfume on you because that way the fragrances are more long-lasting and they perform a little bit differently. So in case you're not familiar with perfume oils, I highly recommend you to give them a try, especially if they're inspired by some popular fragrances like these ones from the Perfume Oil Expressions brand that is based in Australia. And I kindly got three fragrances that are inspired by my all-time favorites. So in today's video, I'll be comparing them. And I really want to get started with the one that I got thanks to you and your donations, guys, because it's a love, don't be Shy by Killian, an ultimate gourmand that's so special because it is super sweet and at the same time truly juicy. In the opening we have some spices and fresh notes, then like a blossoming floral bouquet and in the dry down there is caramel with vanilla and sugar mixed with animalic notes. So it's sexy, it is very sweet but never sickening. So I really appreciate that freshness and also kind of like the juicy blossoming vibe coming out of it but I only keep it for special occasions because it is very expensive and I don't see myself repurchasing it so I was really excited for the fairy tale by Perfume Oil Expressions. This is actually the packaging. It looks cute and really minimalistic, kind of modern, and I was absolutely shocked that fairy tale smells almost exactly the same as a Love Don't Be Shy. It's also a very sweet and blooming gourmand perfume, but there is note of Neroli that I've never smelled as prominent uh, in Love Don't Be Shy as in here. So I love that they pushed on this note that is actually in the notes breakdown, but it has never stood out to me. So I really like that addition in here. Maybe it's a little bit sharper with a green edge, which makes it really addictive, especially when that beautiful, thick, almost syrupy gourmand accord comes through. So in case you are looking for a great, affordable dupe for Love Don't Be Shy, that is it. And I just love to wear this fragrance because it makes me feel really happy, but I save the original one for special occasions. So now I can go really ham on this one. You know, just apply it all over me, which I won't be doing right now because we have some other great perfumes to talk about. But yeah, now I don't have to save on the that fragrance and smell basically just as delicious and get probably as many compliments because gourmand perfumes are very attractive and Love Don't Be Shy is hands down one of the most complimented perfumes in my collection. Let me know if you've actually noticed that gourmand's perfumes are always very well received and probably if you have like an ultimate uh, gourmand compliment getter that is also sweet, I would love to find out about it. But you guys, I was also delighted to see that this brand offered a take on my all-time favorite Grey Chanel by BDK Parfums because this stuff is so potent. It smells really refined and it's quite a textural scent. In the opening there is cardamom tea note, then we have iris with vetiver, sandalwood and tonka bean. So it smells woody, powdery, really atmospheric, sandalwoody, creamy and spicy. So in case you like um, tea-centric perfumes, I have like an entire best of episode dedicated to this note in fragrances, but this is one of my top choices when it comes to beautiful, atmospheric and also mature smelling perfumes that is decadent, it smells luxurious. This is basically the scent for the rich people. So I really love it and I was really curious about their take on it that is called Creamy Iris, which is such a great name for this fragrance because that's kind of like how it smells. And you guys, I could not believe that they came so close to this perfume because it's a very delicate composition that is kind of hard to break down, but they managed to do so, although 
cardamom in here is just a little bit um, sharper. I like that because it's one of my most favorite spicy notes. And I believe I also have a best of episode dedicated to it. It smells like an intense and dark black tea instead of just being leafy. Fig in here is not very noticeable, just like in Gris Chanel, but the iris, the vetiver, kind of like rosy feeling, the creaminess of sandalwood and a little bit of a sweetness of tonka bean is in there. So what is going to be great about this fragrance is actually to roll it on the inside of the hand. This is how I really like to apply these perfume oils on my hair, you know, just press two hands gently together, not rub and apply a little bit on the hair, maybe run it through my clothing and gently apply on the scalp because that way you will smell amazing, get incredible sillage, very different than if you spray the perfume because it evaporates much quicker on the alcohol-based fragrances and these last for such a long time, especially if the closing is not made out of soft fabric. I just love to take these and run them through my closing just like this and not only I will smell it throughout the day, other people do so, especially when I move around and and even when I come home and just put it back in my wardrobe, you know, kind of like on the shelf, I go back next day and I can smell it in the air. So that's just like such an incredible feeling, especially with kind of like such an atmospheric perfume. But last, however, not least, is the fragrance that was my first ever niche perfume purchase. After reading so many reviews on Gypsy Water by Burrito, I decided to get it, which was the right decision because it's right up my alley and it's a very interesting unisex perfume that is a bestseller for a reason because it goes well with any kind of situation. It will smell awesome on everyone. In the opening, just fresh, we have some spritzes of citruses, also comforts and spicy notes, and then incense with woods and vanilla that runs everything. However, doesn't make the fragrance smell sweet, nor it's a gourmand perfume. It's just something that is very alluring, cozy, inviting, and very pleasant to wear and to smell on other people. So I definitely need to check out Gypsy Potion, kind of like their take on this perfume and you guys. First of all, I was really excited to have it in the perfume oil format because what I'll be doing with it now is just wear it as a base, you know, apply it all over me because you can't go wrong with this perfume. It's something subtle, luminous and light. At the same time, it is long lasting and has amazing projection because it's one of the most complimented perfumes in my collection. For me, it smells atmospheric. I guess because of the pine needles, it reminds me of Christmas time and just um, holidays in the winter. It's something atmospheric, incensey, uplifting, joyful, and at the same time luxurious and just very well done because of the orris root and sandalwood. It's creamy. The texture in there is so, so bewitching, I'd say, but uh, I think I will keep it in my purse. All of these are very handy, you know, just to carry them with you when you're on the go, but I think it doesn't matter which perfume I apply in the morning. It's going to be great to refresh it with gypsy potion throughout the day because it kind of has all the different elements except for flowers. So maybe if you're not really into the floral genre in perfumes, this is definitely the fragrance for you to check out, especially the compliments. You will be shocked, I'm telling you. So I will be wearing Gypsy Potion kind of like as a base or as, you know, just a refreshing fragrance throughout the day. As you can tell, I apply a lot, but I know that um, that will just get better throughout the day. So I was very pleased to experience these perfume oil expressions and I highly recommend you to give them a try. You can find some fragrances that are inspired by designer but also niche brands. All of them are popular, the best sellers. So they have some offerings on their website. So make sure to check out their official website. The link is below as well as other health information. So if you enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up because 
that really helps the videos to get out there. Also, feel free to subscribe to my channel and activate the bell so you won't miss any of my future uploads. Follow me on my social media to stay in touch and get more content from me. And if you want to support me even more, you can buy perfumes with my discounts. All the help information is below in the description box. And uh, donate on Buy Me Coffee website. The choice is yours. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and found this video helpful. And make sure to stay tuned. Smell good. We'll see each other next one really soon. Bye, guys. Thank you.